Everybody. Hi, welcome to Scratch Disc. Welcome back to Scratch Disc. Still playing Billy Hatcher. Gonna go defeat some hundred crows. Yep. Some hundred crows. Oh man, I am incredibly tired today. Why are you tired today? Okay, well, I... Twitch was doing... Oh, well, so, you know how the Pokemon 20th anniversary thing's going on? Yeah. Uh, Twitch is doing a uh, live stream of every single Pokemon movie ever. And you... I, well, they started at, at 8 p.m. last night. Um, okay. So the Pokemon company was like, yeah, you know, it's the 20th anniversary. Let's just air every movie we've done. So uh, starting with the first one, uh, I was watching that stream with Twitch all the way until the the end of the... Um, the what was it? The Dark Ray movie. Uh-huh. And I looked at the time. I'm like, oh, shit. It's six in the morning. Oh my god. I should probably get some sleep, so that's why I wasn't awake until almost 2 p.m. today. Oh my <laughs> god, really? Yeah. You you have uh, the worst so, sleep habits I've ever... You have the worst sleep can, habits of anybody I've ever known. You can blame Pokemon for that. But I only blame you for that. I know. Y you can blame me. I'm just going to blame Pokemon, because... All right. God damn, some of those movies were actually pretty good. Uh, which ones did they play? They did, um, there's the, they did one, two, and three, uh, uh -huh. and four. Okay. So, they, they did From so... Mewtwo to Celebi, and then they did, um, they skipped, uh, the, the Heroes, which was the Latios and Latias one. Uh-huh. Um, and they skipped, um, there was, there were two from Advanced Era, I think. Uh-huh. That they also skipped. Uh, they skipped Jirachi. I don't remember what the other one was, but I know they said they were skipping three movies because there were, like, rights distribution issues they were having with those ah. for some reason. I didn't know that was a problem. Distribution? Yeah, apparently they didn't have the distribution rights to, like, three of the movies for some reason. Huh. Weird. Um, and I actually just checked uh, their Twitch stream right before we started. Uh, they're showing Pokemon Origins right now. Oh, neat. Yeah, um, I, guess, I guess they showed all the way up until... Um, uh, the Genesect movie, and then they started with Origins. I don't think I've ever... S I have not seen Origins. Really? Yeah. That's the one where it's like a retelling of Red, Red and Blue. Blue right? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Oh, it's actually pretty decent. I mean, it does uh, skip over I know it quite a lot, because it's, it's, it's a four-episode it's... OVA. Yeah. So, um, but like, oh, the first episode was really good of that, mm -hmm. and then, I, I don't know. Uh, it was like the first and the last episodes that were pretty good. The, the middle two were just kind of eh. Ah. But they had a different animation studio for each of the four. Huh. Yeah. Hey, yeah, see, that's that sounds neat. I want to see that. And uh, Oh, God! I, I haven't... Oh, God damn it. I haven't seen it in English, but I know the Japanese version. Red was voiced by uh, the voice actor that does uh, Naruto. <laughs> so it was kind of oh. funny hearing that. Uh, the English Naruto or Japanese the Japanese Naruto. Naruto. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. I, found that kind I mean, of that sounds neat. Yeah. Oh, so, um, I don't think I've ever told you this, but my, uh, one of my co-workers mm -hmm. really, really likes to quiz me on sports. Yeah. And let me tell you, I don't know a damn thing about sports. Uh, you and me both. I, I know next to nothing. Like, uh, like I think, I think I understand a little bit of football. <laughs> that could be about it. The only player from football I can tell you that I know of mm -hmm. is Richard Dent. And okay. that's only because he shops at my store. Oh. He's from the 85 Bears. Oh, jeez. Do not ask me what his uh, what his position is. I uh -huh. think it might be defensive lineman. I don't. I really don't know. Yeah, I, I know absolutely not. I couldn't tell you the name of a single player outside, like, Walter Payton. Yeah. And he's dead, so... Yeah. Was it, wait, was it Walter Payton, or was it... No, it was Walter Payton. Yeah, it was Walter right. Payton. Um, he, he, we ended up, uh, he, like, he ended up at an Aldi store that we were shopping at when I was, like, four. No. Uh, <laughs> or something, so it was kind of like, oh. Anyway, so, I was like, oh my god, why do you keep quizzing me on this? And it's usually just to get a laugh. Uh-huh. Cause, well, because he knows you don't know, right? Yeah, because he knows I don't know. Yeah. So, why else would he do it? So, I decided to turn the tides on him. Mm-hmm. I decided to start quizzing him about video games. Oh. Uh, I take it he doesn't play them. Uh, no. He's 
about 60-something years old. Oh, nice. So... Yeah, that, that's kind of a, a big uh, age age difference there. Yeah, that's true, but I, I started asking him about it. And... Oof. Okay... Well, that happened. Neat. I didn't know that could happen, but anyway. So I started asking him about that, and uh -huh. needless to say, it was funny. Like, it was pretty funny. I asked him, like, you know, name me five consoles before 1999. Uh-huh. And he was like, I, I don't know. Yeah. Atari? Okay, which Atari? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know that there was anything <laughs> other than Atari. I was uh... like, ah. Uh. So I gave him, like, five generic ones. Yeah. Did you did you go into detail like any like game specific things that he would definitely know nothing about? I asked him if, to name me one Nintendo IP. Yeah. And he he gave me the stupidest response I could ever think of. Uh huh. He said uh, floppy disks. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was like, I don't I don't know what that means. I mean, I know floppy the floppy disks. Did you tell him it was intellectual property? Yes. So, like, he couldn't name... Wow. I uh, pushed the wrong button there. Yep. I meant to push B. So, wait, you, you told him, like, you know, like, a character, like... Uh, yeah, well, I told he, him. I told him afterwards, uh -huh. like... No, an intellectual property is, like, a character. And he was like, uh, Yeah, or a, I or a series that is owned by yeah. the company. So, he couldn't even name you Mario. Couldn't even name you Mario. That's... Disappointing. It's disappointing, I mean, it's, but it also... Like, look... Again, he doesn't know... I mean, my grandpa doesn't know anything about video games, and he could still tell me who Mario is, and what he's from, and what console he's on. It, he probably wouldn't understand that Sony was different from Nintendo or anything, but, I mean, he could at least tell you, like, who who a video game character is. But, like, that's, uh, that's what happened. Yeah. That's kind of funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah, so it's just like... It's one of those things, you just have to get even with him for that. Yeah, I had yeah. to. And then, uh... Like I did that to my uh, one of my my assistant manager as well. Yeah. Because he does the same thing. With sports. With sports. Oh, that sucks. And he was he also just didn't give me any answer. Yeah. That was acceptable in any sort of way. So I was like, ha, huh, that's how I feel every time you quiz me about sports. Right. Every single time. He's like, okay, well now I know how that feels. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's funny because like I don't I also don't know anything about him so like. I understand how, like, football is played, and, and a little bit of how baseball is played. Yeah, I mean, I know how they... Like... I know how they're played. Yeah, it's just, I don't care to get involved with it at all, because... Boy, that just fell right through there, didn't it? Yeah, it sunk like a stone. That's right, you don't need it, you just need to get the... Yeah, I just need to get up... Oh, hey, a sonic coin. Yep. Oh, this is scary. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was pretty scary right there. Um, yeah, so, like, I don't know, because my coworkers, they don't really... Uh, sports doesn't get brought up too often unless like it's like a sports day event we're holding because uh -huh. I know we have um, we'll have like at the track we'll have like a White Sox day and Chicago Bears day yeah. and you know being from a Chicago suburb that uh, is full of Cubs fans mm -hmm. uh, White Sox day is not too popular at the track so I don't know why they chose that to be a day that they do there but because they don't they don't have a Chicago Cubs day or anything yeah. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, I don't know. I, and I honestly never really understood why there was a rivalry. They're both Chicago teams, so I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for making that comment. Only but from whatever. Chicago people. Yeah. Like, really only from Chicago people. I can understand Pete, but I, I'm kind of in the same uh, boat yeah. with you there. Like, why does, why does one team have to be better than the other when they're both Chicago teams? Yeah. I mean, I know the Cubs haven't won a World Series in, uh, like, over 100, 100 years. years. Over, or, fuck. But still, it's like, that's who my, that's who my dad roots for, so that, I mean, if he's ever, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll support them too. Look, the only, <laughs> the only thing I know about Cubs fans and Sox fans is that Sox fans are kind of dicks. Like, yeah. I, I am going to... I'm probably going to get so much hate because of that from Sox fans, but... No, like, I, I've noticed that too, though. Because even but back like, when I worked at the high school as a janitor, um, uh -huh. like one of the janitors I worked with was, he used to be a Cubs fan, 
Uh-huh. And he was like, he was really nice. And then the moment he was like, nah, fuck the Cubs. I'm, I'm voting for the White Sox now. Because th- that was the same year that the, the White Sox won the World Series. Yeah. And and he switched uh, sides. Then he kind of became a gigantic asshole. I don't... I we ju- just lost. Oh my god. I just... I jumped on that. Like, uh, fuck. Oh, man. Whatever. Just try it again. Yeah. It was only defeating 100 crows. It's not too bad. No, it really isn't that bad, but... I also didn't even know where the where the thing spawned. That's, I was trying to get past that thing so that maybe I could go forward and find that thing. Is that where it was? Because last there was, time... There was no other way to get back. Oh. Oh. Huh. Like, I could not find another way to get back, so I just thought, oh, maybe if I go this way, I'll go forward. Yeah, that's how hard it is now. I can't wait until later. Uh, any so... But, like, I've noticed that Sox fans are kind of dicks. Mm-hmm. Like, even Cubs fans are like, yeah, this this guy, this guy, blah, blah, blah. Um, a friend of mine, a friend of mine used to own, or be, like, work at a bar. Yeah. Out in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And they said that the Cubs fans were all, like, you know, pretty nice people. Yeah. Like, they were all kind of, right. you know, just normal people. And then Sox fans would show up and be like, ah, oh, fuck them, fuck this, ah, blah, they're... Oh. Belligerent. Just belligerent dicks. Yeah. And there was, like, no excuse for it either. Yeah, I don't... So, if somebody wants to explain yeah, to me... Yeah, because I am just Why Sox confused. fans are so, like, goddamn uh, belligerent We're probably just going to get a whole bunch of, like, it's because we're real fans or something, some bullshit excuse like that. And it's like, that that doesn't help us in any way. No. Because we know nothing about sports at all. Look, you know, I, anybody that roots for somebody is a real fan. I was a gigantic nerd growing up. I played video games. That's all I knew. That's all I cared about. Shit. I ran out of egg. You ran out of egg. I ran out of egg. (laughs) Uh, okay. Yeah. Do those count as multiple crows or just one? Um, Oh, it looks like just one. It looks like just one. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping because they took more hits. Yeah. Let's see what's in this egg. Yeah, might as well. It's... Oh, oh uh, so what was his name? Recky, I think. I think it was Recky. Re- Re- or or Necky, I don't remember. I think it's Recky. Or Ricky. Rick, Rick, no. no, Ricky was somebody else. Oh, coin. Neat. Um. Monkey. Yeah. Lightning monkey. Come on, lightning monkey. But, Let's go. Yeah, because, I don't know. Sports never really gets brought up too much at work unless it's like an actual. Oh, man. Thing. You're lucky. Sports get gets brought up. All the time. Because well, I'm like, okay, at my bar, outside of the uh, the servers I work with, uh, I am the oldest one working there. Like, as, like, because uh-huh. I have a whole bunch of runners underneath me, and they're all like, you know, 18 to, you know, 20 something. Yeah. I'm 27, and, you know, the head bartender. So, uh-huh. and my brother's the other bartender. So like uh, you know, they don't really bring it up too much, and a lot of the pe- a lot of the kids I work with are like, I can't believe I said that, because <laughs> the they're not kids. that much younger than me really. A lot of the kids. Yeah. I call people kids anyway. I know. Like, I feel bad because I hate it when like when, when I get called that by like you know older people. Yeah. Because I I know um, w- one of the um, oh what was he uh, the director of operations he would come up and and be like so Shit. how are you kids doing today and I'm like. I'm great, but I'm 27. I'm kind of beyond the point of being called a kid. I mean, I guess in his eyes, it's like, I don't know. I I don't know how older people think. (laughs) I I guess anybody (laughs) younger than them is considered a kid in their eyes. I guess. And and I guess it really kind of shows that it's true when I do that to, like, you know, my uh, my staff as well. Yeah. Because they're all younger than me, so I I don't know. It's really just an age thing. Yeah. it, it doesn't actually seem fair. It, uh, it seems ageist. Ageist? <laughs> it's ageist. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like are, are we coining this as a phrase? Yes, now? I'm going to coin it as a phrase. A, uh, I don't think that's an actual word. No, but, but it will be. Okay. Because I feel like you okay. shouldn't be treated any differently or, or treated like a kid just because you're like, you know. Just because you're younger than somebody. Yeah. Or, or, I mean, I can understand if they were legitimately a kid or something, and you can call them that. But I think the cutoff is somewhere around, like, you know, once you're past your teenage years. 
You, you can't. You shouldn't be able to call anybody that anymore. You know, I can give you like a name or two that can prove that statement wrong. Really? Um, somebody with the last with the suffix of junior. I'm not going to name the actual name. Okay. You should know him. Junior, junior. I'm trying to think. You don't really. I haven't really talked to him in a while. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, you... Yeah, I know who you're talking about. With Okay, so with that in mind, you really think that that's a thing that you can actually say then? I died. Okay. God damn it. I guess... There, there are some exceptions, but in the general sense, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, and... there, are, there are always exceptions to that rule. And honestly, it's based on... I think it should be based on how you act and present yourself. Yes, it Rather really than be. your actual physical age number, because I've always felt that... Uh, you know, I, we can we should probably go into more detail on we, this on the next episode. We can do this on the next episode. And hopefully we'll we can talk. actually get this medal, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about... I kind of feel bad we've just been jumping into lava this entire time. No, you mean I've been jumping yeah. into lava this entire time. No. So we'll... it, it's a joint progress. I'm I'm here with you while you're going yeah, through the motions. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys next time on Scratch Disc. Goodbye.